All right, especially with how last episode ended. I know it's going down this episode, or at least these next few episodes. This one's called The Conflict of Strategy, and I'm very curious what strategy each team is going to utilize. What's up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Darius, back at it again with Bungo Stray Dog, Season 2, Episode 6. Last episode, we had all teams the ada making some moves going into a new hiding spot organizing a defensive team and offensive team we have the port mafia going a little on the off not not the port mafia the guild going a little on the offense almost killing some of our members also bringing in a lot new of the guild associates very curious about that then the port mafia trying to track the ada and uh, using radioactive clothing just a whole bunch of different stuff in order to get the upper hand that's why it's called the conflict of strategy very curious what's going to happen. The war of the gifted companies is about to begin. So I'm excited and I got to find out what happens. Don't forget, if you guys want early access and full length to this show and all of the shows I'm watching, we are four episodes ahead on Patreon. Links are in the description down below for you guys. Don't forget to subscribe. Click that bell so you guys always know exactly when I post over here on the Dapper channel. Follow all the social medias, Instagram, Twitch, TikTok, Twitter, all the Dapper Darius. Much appreciated, you guys. Bungo Stray Dogs, Season 2, Episode 6. The conflict of strategy. Let's do this. I like how he's talking about hitting the vital points, yet he's completely missed the target, you know? Okay. Interesting. She's another guild member, if I remember correctly. Yep. Okay, so he's what a pie. They were calling him Reverend last episode, yes. Oh, that's just fucked up. He's reading that book. Genesis 319. Nathaniel H. They will atone for their sin with their the scarlet letter. Margaret M. Mm. I needed. I want to know more about the actual authors these people represent, but I got to write their names down. I'm definitely not trying to miss them. I would be so nervous if I was any of those workers. That's from Mori Ugai. He's letting them know what he's going to destroy. And I love how he's writing the whole thing in crayon. Your luxury liner, the Zelda, which I'm guessing is this. Mr. Nathaniel, that's you? He's being so formal about it, Mori. Okay. That's cool that their ship is named the Zelda. Coming from Mori Ugai, definitely not a prank. I would definitely take this serious. Valid point, valid point. Found a suspicious man. Uh oh. The strategy of conflict. Oh! What's his name? Uh, Kaji. I have his name written down. I have it next to Lemon Exploder. What music is this? I really enjoy it. Whoa. True. I think there's a little more. But he's not done. He's more of a science-based character, which is very conflict with a religion. The explosion didn't hurt him at all. That is a good side effect. Especially when you are a bomber, that would be very handy for you. On the helicopter. Oh. If I, oh my, it's rain. It's like a fucking mortar strike. And he takes no damage from any of these, so he's loving this. 
Yeah, both you guys were a little overconfident. Now you've been humbled. <laughs> Mori already thought of this as well? Octagawa? Let me just say, I need to know more about Mori Ugai's power, but just as a evil villain leader mastermind type character, already very much respect his brains. Like, I, didn't, I don't even think I talked about it much last arc, but the whole fact that he purposefully led Mimic in here to get the AD, to get the um, Department of Gifted to give him the um, the permit. So he's like, <laughs> you guys know what I'm trying to say. I can't even, I'm so flabbergasted right now. Just, I love how he's actually playing. He's moving his chess pieces. A lot of, you know, shows represent that. They'll show him playing chess while he's moving his actual real life chess pieces. But it's just the actual mind on this guy is actually crazy. He's like, oh, he's two steps ahead every time. And I'm I'm here for it. Octagawa. He's one of the best. Ooh, he said Diablo the devil. <laughs> That's fire. I love the actual designs of both their powers, and I love how Nathaniel's has like words inscribed in his. Batter manipulation, both. Oh, but it has to do with his blood, right? Oh, I'm so curious. Maybe that's a different part of his ability. Rashom, I love how they do that every time for his. Oh, and they're doing it for his as well. This is like Oda and Jeed again. That's so I knew how to do, but you can use the enemy's blood as well. And then Margaret's coming back with her wind power. Shows us a little more about her character, trying to get her family's honor back. But definitely, if one's known humiliation and defeat, it's going to be Octagawa. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that is so true. Remnant going through the darkness. Oh my god. He's constantly been coughing throughout season one. Is he sick? the ball itself was able to oh my god this is so crazy see it separates and even them that's super cool jesus that is a very powerful attack right there he thinks of Desai, and he will not lose because of that jaws of endless gates Wow. Shouts out Margaret. Let's be real though. Octagua is such a beast. Ooh, it's Chuya. It's Chuya. Who we know is not only the most gifted martial arts user, but we still don't know his ability. That's what I would be back at work. Ooh. Kenji and Yosano. 
Ooh, that's Lovecraft and John. Really? So Mori's using these two to go at it so he can, like, have a better chance. Oh, I thought he hit him. He's so quick. Oh my lord. Chuya is so swaggy. The gravity manipulator. Because <laughs> it wouldn't fall down because there's no gravity around him. And he can make himself heavier as well because of the gravity. That's very strong. That's very powerful. Mm. He figured out their plan. What is it, Rampo? Also, Rampo is the voice actor of Levi. I don't know if you guys have told me that, but I, I love it. Which was what? The abducting. Oh. So now you're kind of forced to go, not just like. Yeah, that's rough. That's a good strategy. They're literally, like I said, two steps ahead every time. That's really good. That's a really good strategy. That's why the title is the conflict of strategy or whatever. Okay, I see you. I see you, Bungo. Well, like I said, shit was going down and I knew it would. Shouts out Octagawa. Shouts out you guys for... I hope I'm pronouncing it right now. A lot of people said, okay, I'm not even going to go into that. I've talked about how to pronounce his name a hundred times. It's still hard for me. I'm just going to let me know if Octagawa sounds okay. The people say, like, don't even pronounce the U, you know, like, keep making it okay. But that was a crazy fight between him, Nathaniel, and Margaret. We still don't know truly how it ended because he did the endless uh, jaws of gates or whatever at the end there. Margaret stepped in and took that for Nathaniel. So both of them could be lethally injured. Very curious about that. But as for bait, to bait the guild members and the ADA into going to the same spot to clash and then try to, for us to, as the, us as the Port Mafia, to take them over at the end there, the office workers, aka the, the non-gifted civilians of the equation, is the perfect bait. And like, it literally is too appealing to the guild. As if they were to win and get secure them as hostages, there's nothing the ADA could do, nothing the hostages could do. And the ADA has to go, so it's like almost guaranteed they're going because of oh, and it's uh, and have to have Rampo just instantly know and confirm is just crazy. That's a really good strategy. Like I said, I respect Mori Ugai as a strategist so much. It is crazy. Oh, it is crazy, 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 and I know shit's gonna go down. I know I keep saying that, but that's because I wasn't expecting it to be like this in the show. Like, shit is actually going down, and I'm so curious, like, what's gonna happen season three? What the main... Like, people said that season three is not the end, you know? it's good. It could keep going. I'm very curious. Oh, I want to see more fights. I want to see more powers, more characters. I want to see John and Lovecraft go ham. I want to see a big presidential fight between Mori, Francis, and Fukuzawa. I really want to see that. would be so dope. Oh, if you guys enjoyed, please leave a like. Let me know your thoughts down below. Don't forget to subscribe. Click that bell so you guys always know exactly when I uh, upload here on the Dapper channel. Follow all the social medias, Instagram, Twitch, TikTok, Twitter. Much appreciated, you guys. Don't forget to tell someone you love them. Drink some water. Be safe out there. Have a great day, Dapper Squad. Peace.